we just drove all the way from Texas to Indiana mm -hmm. to pick up our brand new RV. But before we pick it up, we're extremely excited to show you why we picked it and take you around that factory. So I guess we just go ahead and rip that band-aid off. We picked an Alliance Valor. Now, before we show you the rig that we got, let's go take a tour of the factory and talk to some people so you can understand better why we chose this one. All right, well, we've made it in to the Alliance HQ. We'll just go with the HQ. HQ, I like that. This is Cully. Cully, what's your role? So I'm one of the co-founders with my brother Ryan, and uh, yeah, we're just here in Elkhart, Indiana, manufacturing fifth wheels, toy haulers, and uh, now travel trailers. Yeah. So El, El Jefe, we're gonna start calling them. <laughs> El Jefe, I like that, nice. Um, so obviously we're super excited to be picking up our Valor here pretty soon, mm -hmm. um, but from Alliance as a company, uh, where do you guys see yourselves going looking into 2024? Yeah, well, looking into 24 model year, you know, we just came out of 24 models. We're sitting here in August, early August, uh, as we film this. And uh, we see a really good path forward as far as just market share gains and growth. You know, we have a great dealer network across North America. We're up over 200 distribution points. And um, we just recently launched our brand new Delta travel trailer line. And that line um, was kind of had its major debut back in May of this year and we just started shipping them about 30 days ago and early response to the brand has been terrific. We've already retailed a number of them and uh, we're looking forward to kind of just growing our market share and, and really kind of anchoring in on the uh, travel trailer segment. Very cool. Yeah. Where, where do you think that the industry is forcing you guys to ship somewhere or is it? Not necessarily. I think we always had in our, in our minds from the very beginning that we would be in travel trailers. We just didn't want to rush into that market. You know, when we came out in the fall of 2019, we really told our dealers and we told our consumers, we're only going to do one brand per year. We won't do more than one brand. We feel like if you come out with too many products and too many brands too quickly, it's hard to really deliver uh, one, the story, but two, to make sure you nail the product, you know, because it takes time to research. It takes time to get feedback. That's one of our core things here at Alliance is we've really used the customer feedback to drive our product decisions. And I can tell you with Delta especially, it was about a 12-month project, just listening, talking. We had meetings in Tampa at the RV Super Show down there with customers. We went to a number of uh, uh, RV shows throughout the winter and really got a, just a tremendous amount of feedback to really kind of drive the Delta brand, just like all the other brands here at Alliance. Very cool. So I got to say, you guys have probably two of the strongest segments I've ever seen in an RV company, and that's your community yep. and your customer service. Yes. So I'd be very reminiscent if I didn't get a chance to talk yep. about those two things yep. from the Alliance, from the top tier looking down. If you don't mind, let's just start with customer service. Yeah, that's a good one. So when we started the business, we, we said that from the very beginning, we're going to be customer obsessed, you know, and so that's making sure that you're taking care of them on the front end with great product but you've also got to have great customer service in the back end. So we've really uh, devoted a lot of resources, time, energy to that back part of our business. And I feel like we're doing a better job than anybody in the industry when it comes to customer service. So is Bill tired of hearing the phrase, hey Bill, I got a quick question for that's, you? Uh, that's for sure. He gets that a lot, especially <laughs> at the rallies and especially uh, when he gets that initial phone call. I yeah. saw the sign that was yeah. made for him. Yes, he has that in his office for sure. So what was the driving force initially and then again, obviously going into 24 behind yeah. trying to create the community you guys have created? Well, it kind of just happened organically. It's, it's one of those things where we were, we launched in the winter, the fall of 19. We had our first few uh, paradigm units ship out before the COVID pandemic. We were in a number of RV shows and we sold a lot of product. And then coming out of the pandemic, you know, we were shut down for maybe five or six weeks and we got back quickly into production and the product was selling and retailing. And we had a couple of customers come to us and say, hey, what do you guys think about having a rally in Elkhart? And this was August of 2020. So there were still some, you know, you guys, you know, people were kind of on lockdown and right. weren't going out and really commingling. And, and uh, we said, what the heck, why not? You know, let's get out and about, let's meet some of these customers. And so we started with that first initial rally. We had, believe it or not, we had 60 rigs at the rally, over 100 people, had a fantastic time. And then it kind of just snowballed from there. And uh, we've now had uh, four rallies and uh, each one continues to grow. So it's been a pretty awesome experience. Because yeah, you guys had, 200 and something rigs this last one, right? Yeah, we did. It was like 275 rigs. So it was a huge number and I'm sure next year will be over 300. So, right. yeah. So anything new coming in community land in 2024? Yeah. yeah. So we have a lot of things going on with, uh, you know, we have now some other 
uh, you know, regional rallies. We just had one out in Oregon uh, last weekend, actually. We had, uh, we got one coming up, I think, in Texas in October. Uh, we've had some in Michigan. We've had, we got one, a big one in Florida at the Margaritaville, which I think will be in April of next year. Yeah, and Chris and Martha Ventures and couple are the, they, uh, the leaders host of it. Of it. Uh, whatever you guys yes, call them. Most of those, that's right. And um, so, yeah, we have a bunch of stuff on the docket and it continues to grow and it's kind of just organically happening, which is kind of cool to see. Very cool. Well, I mean, again, hard pressed to not anything new we can tease for 2024 or is it? Well, I think one of your, your new floor plan is a big one. I think you'll probably be getting into that. I don't know if we can talk about that here or... Uh, they uh, don't know about that yet, Kelly. Oh, so are we going to be editing that out? <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to leave it in, but that's the only tease they get. <laughs> okay, so I won't say any more than that. So we got some cool stuff that you'll be, you'll be talking about, and, uh, and then we're going to continue to grow our Delta product line with some new floor plans there. So a lot, cool, a lot going on. Well, I got to tell you, when we were down at the Florida RV Super Show down in Tampa, you know, we always kind of pay attention and walk around, and we hung out in the Alliance booth a little bit because you guys – sponsor RV Unplug, which I'm super appreciative yes, of. Yes, yes. Um, and I, walking around the different booths and knowing who the upper management and the up, and people that are really in charge doing things are, I saw you, Ryan, Bill, Rob was just a blurry beard running around the whole yes, time. Yeah, and he was down there, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. But I saw you guys out and around mingling, talking, and showing units more than any other manufacturer by a mile, not even a little bit, by yeah. a mile. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys had the sweat stains on your shirt. We had the sweat private. stains. It's what we do. It's what we really love doing. And uh, I mean, that's, that's a blast. I love being down there. Well, and as a company, that's a big reason why we wanted to um, purchase an alliance yep. more so than anything else is because the fact that you guys are right here, right? Two, I mean, the factory is literally like four feet that way. Right there. It's right there. <laughs> exactly right. So, so, man, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much, Ryan. So, Appreciate it. Yeah. A huge thanks to Cully for taking the time and just kind of chatting with us a little bit. Um, it's really cool what they've been able to build as a company. But we're wandering around between all these buildings now. I'm supposed to be looking for somebody. By the way, this is where the. Oh, now. Is this not okay? <laughs> no, you're good. We encourage <laughs> cameras wandering around the factory. Joe, what's up, buddy? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Good to see you again. Joe, speak to the people. How are you guys? Welcome to Alliance. <laughs> Joe is the director of marketing and caught me red-handed. I mean, I was meeting with Cully before. It was fine. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> hey, just so you guys do know, we do have an open camera policy, so cameras are 100% welcome. Oh, thank God. I thought an open camera means I had to open up my camera. I would have been <laughs> bad for the sensor. Come on, man. Good dad joke. Thank you. <laughs> I need a few for the day. I'm going to have to record a couple with you. Um, so this behind me. Door 11. Which door the sign's missing right now. It's like door number <laughs> blank. Yeah. Um, is Valor only. Val, this is plant one. This is the beginning of the line for plant one. Perfect. Yep. For Valor. And plant one is Valor exclusive. Yeah. Plant 74. I don't care what the number is. Yeah. Valor. Yep. Right behind me is their lamination plant. So all the sidewalls, all that good stuff over there for the entire line, right? Yep. Or for every line. Yep. All four. And then directly behind me is the OG. Yep. The paradigm. Yeah. That's the paradigm. And yep. then allegedly somewhere there's other things. No, there's other things. <laughs> <laughs> there's always other things. So what we want to do is take you around and show why from a company and factory perspective, we chose Alliance. Joe? You guys wanna go on a tour of plant one? It seems less sunny in here. It's a little less sunny. Welcome to plant one. So what you're seeing right here is right where the, the blank chassis actually gets rolled in and they actually have already done their work on this for the day. So come Monday, this is gonna roll straight up and a new chassis is gonna be right behind it. And what they actually do is if we come up here, you're gonna be able to see this yellow machine that actually will flip the bare chassis over. And one of the really important things that Alliance has done is we are focused on our employees. We wanna make sure that they are not fatigued. So if we flip this chassis over, then they're working standing up versus having to be rolling around on their backs and trying to get stuff done on knees and squatting and moving. So we make it easier to, and minimize fatigue by flipping the chassis over. All right, so once, the, once it's ro rolled up, it gets put on and then it comes over here. Some of the things that are different about a line, so we're gonna stop here for a second, is we actually reinforce with a V bracket in the chassis that significantly increases the strength of your chassis system. 
Um, so the other thing that you're going to notice here where you got a really good view of it is you're going to see these steel straps and they're on both sides of the tanks. The reason we do that is so that if you need to, we are the only manufacturer that warranties for traveling with full tanks. And Ryan knows that it's not ideal. You don't always want to do it, but sometimes you have to. Um, so the floors, the flooring department was right behind you here. It gets lifted up with this big machine and it gets put over here. Now notice in our garages, we're using this, this 100% um, polymer, polymer material composite floor. So this is not gonna rot, mold, or mildew at all back here in the garage. All right, so right here, you're actually starting to see the RV come to life, right? You're seeing the internal cabinets and walls get put up. And so we actually build all of our own cabinets in-house just on the other side of that RV if you guys wanna go take a look. Joe, I can't help but notice that um, this floor plan looks a little different. This is a little different. It's, uh, we put it on the website. <laughs> la, 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 la. You'll find out next week. <laughs> Ryan talked about the lamination plant earlier. So the walls are gonna get, take a short little drive right here. So this is an actual laminated wall right from lamination. And it's a really good spot to talk about how they're made. Thank God they came from lamination and not, you know, McDonald's. That would be terrible. <laughs> so you got your exterior sheet of fiberglass and then you actually have Asdel and then you have your lamp, your aluminum, and then you have another sheet of Asdel on the inside. So it's double-sided Asdel. Do you guys know about Asdel? No? Well, let me teach you about Asdel. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, it's on gimbal, so it's really hard to get a no on a gimbal. <laughs> so Asdel is a composite polymer product that's actually 50% lighter than wood, is rot, mold, and mildew resistant, and has double the insulation factor of wood. Ooh. The wink just made it. So continuing on with the walls, the walls are actually gonna get lifted up by this hoist right here, and then they're gonna manually bring it over here, and they're actually gonna then fasten it to the, to the unit itself. So the unit behind me here, you can see it's fastened, it's ready to go, and you can also see some of the insulation down for the trim down at the bottom. We're using this really high quality grade styrofoam that will, you have no gap in between, which is gonna minimize the amount of moisture that can even get in the wall, first of all. Wait, we're gonna what ahead? We're gonna skip ahead a little bit. Like Matt does, full on. Let's go see the inside. <laughs> Is that Come on. Inside? Oh, oh, I just missed it. <laughs> did it again, did it again, did it again, did it again. Come on. Matt, who did it better? <laughs> okay, so now we're in the slide out department. And what's really unique about our slide out department is this back wall here they slide in. Sorry. actually matches the exact fiberglass. Because if you know, fiberglass can actually have different shades per roll. So while it might be a gray or a white side wall, fiberglass, each fiberglass wall might be just that much different. And so this side wall is actually gonna match the original side wall that was cut out with. So I wanna ask a question. I've always been curious, because I've heard you guys say that on, I guess other people have made videos, whatever. Yep. Um, so that makes sense. Oh, sorry, gimbal, I gotta have longer arms here. That makes sense for this. Where does this portion come from then? So this is, this is, this is a new piece, right? So we're gonna use it. So, but it's not gonna be as visibly noticeable, right? So, cause if this is pushed in and closed and you have one kind of fiberglass here with the rest of the unit and then a, a slightly off white, you're gonna notice it. Gotcha. Yeah. I just, I mean, I know it obviously can't be the exact cutout piece because it's not. Yep. But I've always just been curious. So they just try to get as close as they can. And roll yeah. On, so on the outside wall, it is the exact same. So you can actually see on that wall where it's not cut out yet, that piece has a VIN marked on it, ah. and that's gonna be built over here. Gotcha. So the only piece that's not original that we build here would be the side of the slide out. Gotcha. So, okay, so continuing on, so here's some slide outs getting ready, getting pushed down the line to go into the actual unit itself. We're gonna take a step upstairs to get a better view. I was not told there would be exercise. <laughs> Gotta get a little bit of your steps then. Hmm. <laughs> I got my brisket intake uh, argues that. I have 2,000 steps left to do, go for the day. I have the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're on the upper deck. And so one thing I'm gonna talk about before we continue talking about construction of the Valors is you're gonna notice that I have a lot of headroom behind above me and I have four inches of cement underneath me. I can tell you that on other OEMs, you're not gonna have that. You're gonna have about that much clearance once you get up here, and it's gonna be an OSB decking board. <laughs> is that it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, why does that matter, Joe? Yeah, I was waiting for you to ask Sorry, me that I didn't question. Know that. I'm still blacked out from the damn stairs. 
<laughs> so the reason that matters is because we're actually going to let a lot more natural light into the building and it's 12 feet taller than normal which gives you a lot more room up here to give tools for our employees to help minimize fatigue while they're building that is why <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so right here this is an important step so we're gonna this is our roof assembly so we're gonna assemble our trusses of our roof right here and then they're gonna get built into four foot segments and then they're brought out onto the unit itself. So let's go take a look at that. So now we're uh, you know, on the upper deck here and you can get a really good plant view right here and you can see this is where the roofs get put on and then it gets slowly moved and there's a couple stations, you know, there's three or four units per station and they're all getting different things done at them. There's people working on the roof, there's people working inside. Um, so we're gonna go talk about some of the cool tools to help people while they're working. All right, so we moved down a couple stations now, and I really wanna talk about just some of the features that we, some of the things we do here at Alliance that help our employees to build your guys' units at a high quality rate. So right here, you're seeing this machine. It might not look like much to you guys, but what this is, is it's full of OSB decking board. So this is stuff that you can use to stand up. It's the roof of your unit, right? Uh, it's the same stuff that goes on the roof of your house. And so what we're gonna do is they can actually bring this machine and they roll these things over right here so they can only have to pick up a couple and then set it on, couple, set it on, right? This machine then goes out there and they can lay the OSB down one sheet at a time versus at other manufacturers, they'll have guys carry four or five sheets at a time out there. And that's very rigorous on the body. What does that mean for the final product? I mean, that's all great, but So honestly, think about it. So if you're tired, you're building, you know, we build about six, eight units a day out of here. If you're building that many units a day and you're doing that a bunch, you're going to get fatigued and you're going to start making mistakes. So by giving them tools like this, we're going to minimize the amount of stakes, mistakes and fatigue. So this right here is one of my favorite spots in the plant because you just got a great overview of the whole plant. This is the slide out department right underneath me. So the slides that we saw earlier are coming out right underneath us and they're going to get put in the unit and then pushed down into final finish. So down there, the units are you know, not complete and then they're slowly getting more and more complete. You can see the roof got put on, the solar panels, the ACs, the slide outs in over here now. And let's go take a look down there. All right, so now we're back down on the ground level. And this, we just saw this, this is one of the catwalk systems that the guys use to put all the stuff on the roof. So right here is the first unit where we were just standing above. And you're gonna notice we have this unique block and it says, do not roll. So this means that this unit right here cannot move until a uh, midline QC, that means midline quality control. There's something that they saw, they noticed that says, until that issue is addressed, this cannot move, which will hold up production. And we're happy to hold up production to make sure that this issue is addressed and we address it at everyone behind it. Proof, how many rigs should be in these spots? Yeah, uh, that's two spots right there. So this rig is currently two behind because of a QC problem that they stopped the line on. And we're making sure that it doesn't happen and that we're fixing it down the line so that it's, it's better when it gets to the final finish. So over here in this big gap, you're gonna notice we got a little bit of room to put the uh, slide outs in. Come on, man, you didn't hear it? In this gap, <laughs> oh, you'll notice we have room for activities in my head. I'm just yelling activities and you go room for a slide. Oh. Now moving over here to the space. There's so much space for activities. Should have been Look at all this floor all space. So we much do aerobics in here. So many activities. Do step class. It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. Unfortunately, in this case. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now what you're going to see is you're going to start seeing the final finish. The unit's really coming together now. And this is a really cool point that I want to show you because you, you can see it. See the green and orange tape? Those are two different QCs. So you got green right here and you got orange right here. And I don't know what they see. There's so something. When you say QCs, people or actual issues? So QCs are people. Okay. So quality control. Um, so I don't know what colors represent what point. Um, but they will come through and there's something they see here. So like this might be this little yeah. seam of the graphic. And it's not the same thing? It's not. These all mean different different things. Okay. And so these are going to get addressed and then they'll get addressed first thing Monday morning and then the line can finally move. So, but it can't move behind you because there's that do not roll block. Right. Right. Eventually so, move. But these can continue to move as long as there's not a do not roll block. And again, we're here because we're showing you what's going on because we're about to pick up our rig. 
and as a little, if you've made it this far in the video, first of all, thank you. What thank should they do? You. you need to like, subscribe, and comment what you guys think so far. And you need to go make sure and like the Alliance channel as well. Yeah, so any of our socials, it doesn't matter on all of them, just add Alliance RV. If you've made it this far and you've done all those things, you get a little bonus from me. This is our floor plan that we're buying, but you really can't tell what it is yet, so haha. -ha. So continuing on, these are gonna be the final finish stations. And so each station has, you know, unique, unique things that are going on it. They check the windows, they clean the floors, they spray them out, they clean them. Um, so there's just different things happening at each station here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go into our PDI, which is pre-delivery inspection, which is the final thing before it gets shipped to your dealer. But, you got, but we can't forget before we go into PDI, I have to hit on our core values at Alliance. We are not the perfect manufacturer, and we'll be the first ones to admit that every day. But what we do is we chase relentless improvement because we know that if we get better every day, it's gonna make you guys have a better experience out on the road. We're also devoted to relationships, and the way we prove that is we're the only manufacturer that starts our day at 6 a.m. for our crews. Everyone else is 4 or 5 a.m., and then they, you know, that's, they're getting out early. In the wintertime, it's dark still. Um, so we're protecting families, giving them more time to spend with, at games in the evening or have breakfast in the morning. Uh, we're also customer obsessed. You guys have heard that. You know that about Alliance. Um, we want to make sure that you guys absolutely have the best RV ownership experience possible. And then last of all, do the right thing. That, if it's not the right thing, we're not going to do it. Does that also mean stop or this, is it just like a fun little pad it gets at the end? Nope, this is the do not roll block. Oh. Uh, someone just took it home and got creative with it. <laughs> do you know who it is? I don't know. It's whoever the QC manager at Final Finish is. So, so I'll have guys, to go introduce myself to her. You guys do a manufacturing Monday? Yep. I'm challenging you. Okay. That's your next manufacturing Monday. Okay. Whoever that is. Okay. Tag us in it too because I want to. <laughs> All right. Welcome to PDI. So PDI stands for pre-delivery inspection. What's There's a wall right behind us. And basically what happens is that unit rolls out. It gets turned around and gets put right here. And this is station one at PDI. There are three or, there's three or four stations down each line. It's going to get a bunch of work done to it this way. And one of the unique things we do in PDI that it always kind of freaks me out, but we do a fog test where we actually blow, instead of running water through the lines, we actually run smoke because smoke is highly visible when we actually test for leaks in the unit. So we actually hook the unit up, run a fog machine, and it fills all the pipes up, and it will start coming out the roof, right? And it looks like a fire. So you're always like, oh, no, okay, but it's just the fog machine. Um, it, it's highly effective. It was one of our quality guys, Charles, came up with it, and it's been great since we've implemented it. Um, and then what happens is it gets flipped around again, and it gets brought here to this. Uh, this is a 36V11 and it's getting some of the final, final pieces. Maybe some of the graphics are gonna get put on, and then if there's any shortages, it's gonna get marked as what does it not have? It might be like, hey, the countertops weren't in when it was being built, so they have to come put the countertops in up here. Um, so then it will, once it leaves this station right here, it gets put out in the shipyard, ready to go. Man, I can't thank you enough for taking me through. Thank you. Out there, because uh, next up for us, out on the road. I get to get the hell out of here. <laughs> yep, yep. You go back to Texas. Oh, it's hot down there. <laughs> um, we are beyond excited. In the next video, you will get to see our floor plan. We're going to walk you around. Spoiler, Joe's going to be there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, as a few other guests, but we're going to show you why we picked that rig specifically and some of the cool updates they have coming for 2024 on the Valor line. You're going to be really, really excited to see some of those updates coming up soon. Yep. So stay tuned, everybody. Thank you, buddy, so much. <laughs> we will see you guys next week. Until then, bye, Mom.